Hey guys, Rob Sandals here, a photographer based in Send in Surrey. Now, I apologise for not having done a video for ages, like t too long guys, um, sorry about that. Uh, it's, it's, it's real great to me actually and I'm, I'm really honoured to have uh, people message me through my website and Instagram and Twitter uh, saying to me like, oh you've got to do some more videos. Uh, I kind of find it funny that anyone is interested in watching me or, or what I do, but um, you know it's really nice. So, so thank you guys for those comments. And here's my next video. So, um, I've actually had a bit of interaction just recently on a video I made, God, probably like maybe two years ago, um, about what was in my case and how to shoot sports photography on a budget. Now, a lot of that gear has changed since then, so I thought I would do an updated version and like a new kind of what's in my case now. Some of it is still, I would say, related to how to do sports photography on a budget, but it's not like a tight budget like I was before, just because I've upgraded the gear along the way, um, it's a little bit better. Um, but still, compared to like, you know, if this case was had like a Canon 400 2.8 and 1DX bodies and stuff like that, cool dear, compared to that, we're talking on a serious budget. So, so yeah, it'd be interesting for you guys to see. Uh, so yeah, we'll just we'll just go through. So first of all is the actual case itself. Now uh, a lot of people look at this and say, oh, it's a penny case. It's actually not a penny case, just in case I get in trouble for any kind of like <laughs> copyright stuff. Um, this is a replica penny case. Now it's exactly the same look and measurements as the I think it's the fifteen ten is is the, is the one. Uh, anyone, if that's wrong, you guys can correct me in the in the comments there. But th this is the um, thing now, it, to me, it's exactly the same as a Peli case. Whether or not the waterproof aspect of it would be as good, I look, I don't, I don't know. Um, it's got the wheels and it's got the extensible handle on the back. So I can wheel this around, makes it really easy for me to carry all my gear about. Now, I have actually changed the wheels. Now, I did this, there are videos online that you guys can find, um, quite easy to find because I found them. Uh, about how to change the wheels on a Peli case, and I did just exactly that. It works exactly the same with this replica case. I've changed these, these are roller blade wheels, so much smoother, easier, a little bit better over bumpy ground. They just work a hell of a lot better. So that's the wheels. So, the actual case itself. These stickers and everything on the front, because I'm sure someone might ask about this. This is just like stickers from kind of everywhere I've shot and everything I've done. Um, you know, I've done a bit of travel photography, so there's photos that I've done in everywhere from Spain to South Africa to, to the States, uh, Canary Islands. Some of the places I shoot, um, I, I shoot some stuff for, for Fulham. Um, I shoot some basketball, it's an air show that I've done. A few bits like that, that's what those are. I haven't shot NBA just yet, unfortunately. So, the actual case itself. Now, first of all, so although this is a replica case, like I said, I have used a couple of official Peli case uh, accessories. So this in the top is the official Peli case lid insert, which I've got, and then the padded insert inside the cases as well. This is a piece of camping mat. It's the same piece of camping mat that was sat at the top of my case on my old video two years ago. Uh, I've just literally chopped that out and I put that in the top just because I'm a bit paranoid maybe about like the zips and the stuff up here scratching the top of the gear. So that's what that is. Genius. Um, it was an old camping mat, probably never going to get used again, so in effect free, I suppose. So that's that. Now the actual gear. I'll do the bodies first. Now the body which I talked about in my last video as being my main body, I still have. Trusty, one of my favourite um, cameras that I've used even, uh, is my Canon 7D Mark I. Uh, I still love this camera, it still gives great pictures. Um, I love the colour that it, that it uh, provides and, and I still think it's a great camera. Yeah, it's not good at higher ISO levels, as lots of people know, but I still like it. I've got the battery grip attached to this. Um, I do that because I shoot a lot of basketball and I find a lot of basketball you tend to shoot vertically and I just find it easier to do with the, with the grip attached on there. So that's the first body. That's now my second body, my backup body. I say backup, I use two for most things, so I use it all the time, but it's my second body. That's my Canon 7D Mark I. So this is a big change. I think last time we did this, 
that was my main body, and I think I had a uh, a Canon 1D. I think it was the Mark II in the video. I've used the Mark III along the way, but the, the Mark II. But now, my main body is this. Uh, a Canon again, obviously, 7D Mark II. Uh, I find it works very well with the Mark I. It, it's a massive, massive step up. So if anyone out, is out there, guys, got the Mark I and thinking of stepping up to the Mark II, yeah, like huge step up, really great camera. And for the money, it's awesome. It's uh, much, much better on the higher ISO levels. Quicker frames per second, just loads of things. Really, really good. Great autofocus, so it's great for sports. Again, I've got the battery grip attached to that. Same reason, I shoot upright quite a lot. And that's my 7D Mark II. So, moving on to the lenses. Now, one, so, first of all, I'll do what's the same. So, what's the same? This is an old lens. To be honest now, I probably rarely use this, but I have it in here just in case. This is the old Canon EFS, um, so it's, it wouldn't work in full frame. EFS, 18 to 55 mil. It's in there. I still use it. Well, I look, I'll be honest, I use it very rarely, but I've still got it. This one's the same as well. Now this is, oh no, actually this isn't quite the same. So I had the um, 50 mil Mark II, the uh, 50 mil 1.8, the nifty 50 as people called it. This is the newer version. So this is the Canon 50 mil STM lens, still f1.8. Um, just as an upgrade, the other one was a little bit old and slightly battered. But 50 mil, so 50 mil on the crop body. So my 50 mil lens on my uh, 70 Mark II is my best combination for basketball. I use that for more basketball than anything else, along with this other lens, which I'm going to put out in a second. But I, I love this lens. It's cheap. It's great. If you're after a cheap lens, this is awesome. So this is um, a lens that I bought probably a few months ago now. Um, a big upgrade from anything I had previously. This is a Sigma lens. So this is the Sigma um, 18 to 35 f 1.8. So real fast lens. Uh, it's a very heavy lens, but a real great lens. Good wide angle. So this is probably, you know, th basically this lens is why I hardly ever use this old um, Canon anymore. This is really great. Good for everything for like landscapes and stuff like that. But also really good for the sports as well. Um, I use this a lot for the basketball. If you guys have seen any of my videos about like floor remotes and stuff like that. Um, this is the lens I use. Same with the goal, uh, the behind the goal remotes for football. I use this too. So really great lens. This is a big change as well. So the last time I had this, uh, or I did a video on my gear, this, I had a Sigma 100 to 300 f4. Now I thought that was a great lens. I love that lens. Yes, it's cheap. Yes, yeah, only f4, but it was still really, really good lens. I've upgraded to this. This is a Sigma again. You guys can see I'm quite a fan of Sigma. You get a fair bit of lens for your money with Sigma. It's the main reason why, why I've got a couple of Sigma lenses. This is a Sigma 120 to 300 mil f2.8. So the biggest reason for my upgrade to this is the speed of the, the lens, is the f2.8. Because with the f4, I struggled under floodlights for football. And with this, I can survive. It has a much bigger hood on it, so it's a much bigger lens. If you compare this in size, like if you put it on the floor like that, the 100, 300 probably would only come up to kind of about about there. So it's a lot bigger and it is a lot heavier, a lot heavier. It's a real beast of a lens, this. Uh, this obviously goes on my, um, well, it depends what I'm doing. It normally goes on my 70 Mark II, but sometimes the Mark I. And I would have this on a monopod and, and I shoot, shoot away. Good lens, this, real good. Again, good for your money, but it's a big, heavy lens. Quite a commitment to own this lens. Because uh, it's heavy, you have to carry it around. Um, it takes up a lot of room in your case, but for the football and stuff, um, obviously I, I need this. So put that there. Now, I've got lots of other stuff in here. Um, a few random bits, like I have um, my case and my memory card, which I have all in there. I've got a few other little bits. I've got my triggers. I still use the same triggers that I have for when I, well, when I first bought triggers. My, God, I don't know how you say it. Yong Nuo, Yong No, my triggers, <laughs> which I use for my floor remotes, my goals, stuff like that. Simple triggers, but they work, so I, so I use those. 
I've got a few other bits in here. Oh, I've actually got this is um, it's it's not an, an actual GoPro. It's like a um, it's, well, it's like a Chinese uh, cheap version of a, a GoPro, I suppose. Um, I use it for a few t uh, shooting a couple of the videos you guys have watched. Uh, it's good. It's cheap. It's small. Fits in there, so it's quite good to use. I'm actually shooting this on my iPhone right now, so um, mainly because I just wanted all this gear available here to better show you on the video. <laughs> A few other bits in there. I keep some of my credentials in the back there, just so I've got them with me when I'm traveling around. Um, I keep a spare strap in, in the back here. A few other random bits in the lid. I've got a torch when I'm going in here in the dark. I've got some spare batteries. I've got some uh, random clips. I've got like a little multi-tool thing here. I've got some gaffer tape. Uh, just a few bits which I, um, which I use on the go all the time. Now, this isn't always set up like this. This isn't always the gear I have in here. I have a couple of um, speed lights and stuff which I use. So if I bring this over, this is just like a backpack. I've got a couple of speed lights which I use. I've got the uh, one uh, Yongnyo speed light, which is a, uh, a YN560-2. And I've got the Canon. This is a Canon, this is a 430, 430EX2. Uh, this is set up right now for like a rugby tournament that I'm shooting tomorrow. So I've got the 300, but sometimes, like if I was doing an event indoors where I'm not going to need the 300, that would come out, and I would probably put my speed lights down in the middle of the case there, like, like you saw with the 300. But I won't need those tomorrow because this is outdoors during the middle of the day. Um, so I take those out. And I've got a couple of other random bits in here, like it's another memory card holder. This is the backpack, so if I'm going light or like if I'm just traveling, shooting personally for myself, this is the bag I might take with me like on holiday, something like that, and have my camera and a few other little bits in there. So yeah, that's what's in my case now, guys. A um, bit of an upgrade from before. That's the exact gear. I've, I've cleaned it all and packed it and, and now unpacked it all again to show you. But that's all ready for my um, rugby tournament that I'm shooting tomorrow. So yeah guys, I hope you found it interesting. I promise I'm gonna do another couple of videos. I've got a video I'm gonna do um, like documenting kind of my time shooting a game in, um, in a bigger stadium is what people ask for, which I'm gonna do. And a couple of others as well. I'm gonna do a video about my basketball floor remotes. But if there's anything specific that you guys have thought that I could do and you wanna see, then please do tell me. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you'll catch this on my blog or you might be watching it on YouTube, um, you know, wherever is all, is all good. Um, thanks guys, see you soon.